let's now see tcp congestion control <coughs> so i'm just pulling out all the routers the let us say the entire uh, all the routers are kept in this circle and there are lots of routers in the world like this this is completely the internet assume that and now all the all of them are connected in some way so that any packet is in some kind of tree or something okay and let's now say there is a sender here and there is a receiver right so assume that the receiver has said that sender can send 1 gb of data in the advertisement window therefore sender window size is set to be 1 gb the reason is receiver said that i have a capacity to receive 1 gb right and assume that MSS maximum segment size of each segment is 1 MB or yeah 1 MB right then how many segments will be there totally how many how many segments will be uh, I mean the sender can send 1024 segments the sender can send the reason is in its window in the sending window it can put 1024 and it can send all the segment at once to the receiver now in order to send the segments to the receiver what should sender do is it should put all all of them onto the network right then the problem is even though the receiver is able to receive 1 gb the underlying network it might not be in a position to hold 1024 packets the reason is all of them might be heavily loaded that uh, the total capacity of the network put together it might not be able to hold 1024 packets or 1 GB of data completely so sender should not dump the data onto the network without finding out the capacity of the network how can we find out the capacity of the receiver by using the uh, receiver is going to say it explicitly is going to send the advertisement window but then we don't know what is the capacity of the network so let us say capacity of the network is WC then how can we know the capacity of the network the reason is we cannot send more than what the network can handle or more than what the receiver can handle let us assume that somehow we found out the capacity of the network to be wc and capacity of the receiver is wr then a sender should always send a minimum of these two sometimes what happens is receiver can say that i can receive 1 gb of data but the underlying network can say i have the capacity of only 1 mb then what should you send actual sender window should be only 1 mb sometimes uh, this uh, network can say i can receive 1 gb of data but the receiver can say i can receive only 1 mb of data then what should we send only 1 mb so anyway whatever is the minimum of these two we should only send that much amount of data if you send more than that either the network will discard it or the receiver will discard it and we have to unnecessarily retransmit it so we want to send stop the uh, traffic so that the network is safe and the receiver is safe now in order to take care of the receiver we are going to use flow control and advertisement window so advertisement window field which is present inside our packet is going to uh, protect the receiver and that is called flow control now how can we protect the network for this product protecting the network we need concession control so congestion control is used in order to protect the network from dumping the data see the problem is there is no way you can find out the capacity of the network the reason is network capacity could be could be anything and there is no central authority who is sitting and then you know, observing the entire traffic and who can derive the entire capacity of the network and give it like this so that you can use it there is no one who, who is going to do that for you so it is your own responsibility to find out the capacity of the network so uh, tcp uses end to end congestion control in 1980s what happened is this end to end congestion control was not there and everyone was dumping the data onto the network and suddenly the network is getting down going down because of the heavy traffic and it is never recovering the reason is no one is stopping let us assume that you are sending some data and data is discarded then what will you do you will not wait for more time you will continuously keep on retransmitting the data and you will never give the network a time to recover from this heavy traffic right so because of this they were they faced lots of problems in 1980 that was called as a congestion meltdown 
congestion meltdown was a severe problem in 1980s now we don't hear about it but back then it was a severe problem that has been solved by using various techniques one of the technique is tcp congestion control therefore tcp congestion control is going to be uh, like a protective layer for our network our network is surviving our internet is surviving only because of tcp production so how does it work is now the best way to stop the uh, data or the traffic is at the source so wherever whoever the source is they should not dump the data onto the network without finding the capacity of the network unless they find it out they should not do it right so let's see how this congestion control works now i'll take an example small example and explain you how uh, we could find out whether the network is in a position to handle these many packets or not so before going ahead there are actually various uh, parameters here one parameter is receiver is always going to receive the packets and then decrease its uh, size of the window if it is slow what it does is let us say its capacity now is 1 gb and if you send a uh, half gb then next time its capacity becomes half gb accordingly you have to again change many things including this uh, congestion co congestion control algorithm but for the sake of assumption i assume that receiver is going to advertise for the sake of simplicity i am assuming that receiver is going to advertise some size and it is going to fix that number forever forever means uh, for this problem otherwise what happens is if receiver is going to change its capacity continuously then it is very difficult to execute this uh, algorithm so my assumption is that receiver is going to advertise some size and it is going to fix there which means it is not going to change from there that is the basic assumption now i'll just take a small example and explain you how does this work let us say at the sender side at the sender side it got an advertisement window from the receiver saying that its capacity is 8 kb which means receiver has a buffer which can take a total of 8 kb load and both of them have agreed with mss of 1 kb therefore at one time we can send as many as 8 packets 8 segments but then congestion window congestion control algorithm says that even though you can send 8 packets don't send 8 all at once because the underlying network may not be in a position to handle it therefore we are going to do this see how it works is now after finding out advertisement window means the receiver capacity is 8 kb and then mss is 1 kb therefore what is the maximum window size how many packets you can send in maximum window is 8 segments isn't it you can send 8 segments if each segment is 1 kb and total size is 8 kb then how many segments can you send in one window 8 8 segments you can directly send to the receiver without worrying about acknowledgements because receiver is in a position to hold all the 8 segments even if all of them go to at once at you know at once exactly all 8 right but then a uh, congestion window says that we don't know whether the network underlying network is in a position to handle it or not therefore even though it is 8 we should not start off with 8 so we are going to maintain one more window called as congestion window which starts with one segment only one segment so what is the sender window as of now this is nothing but the receiver window so receiver window is saying that it is capable of taking eight but then we are going to start our congestion window from one so what will be sender window initially initially sender window should send whatever is the min always whatever is the minimum of receiver as well as uh, uh, congestion so what does this how do we get this receiver capacity from the advertisement window and how did we get this uh, congestion capacity uh, wc congestion window it is what we are starting with the minimum then what is the minimum of these two one so initially we are going to send one segment one mss if we get back the acknowledgement if we get back the acknowledgement for that one mss it means that the network is in a capacity to hold one segment right then we are going to send two segments next two segments if you get the acknowledgement for all the two segments then uh, we are going to send next time four segments so for the sake of simplicity i am writing all the four segments in one line but it means that we are sending four segments if we get back the acknowledgement for all the four segments 
then we are going to send like this so what we are doing is we are trying to increase the size exponentially starting from 1 I started at 1 and then I made it 2 and then I made it 4 so uh, the algorithm uh, grows like this whenever the maximum receiver capacity is 8 then I will find out threshold now what is the threshold threshold is maximum receiver capacity divided by 2 in this case it is 4 right so what happened is initially I send 1 MSS and I will keep on growing the segment size or the number of segments which are going to be sent exponentially till I reach some point called as M, uh, threshold. So once I reach the threshold from that point on I am going to grow linearly. So once I have reached the threshold I am going to grow linearly. So next time I am going to send only 5 segments. If I get the acknowledgement for all the 5 segments then I am going to send 6 segments. If I get the acknowledgement for all the 6 segments then I will send 7 segments. If I get the acknowledgement for all the 7 segments then I send 8 segments. If I get the acknowledgement for all the 8 segments this is the maximum right. So how does this uh, conversion window grow is initially conversion window is going to send one segment and if we get the acknowledgement for that one segment we are sending two segments next. If I get the acknowledgement for two segments, I send 4. Then 1, 2, 4, 4 is the threshold. And once I reach the threshold, from there on, we are going to grow linearly, which means next time 5, 6, 7, 8. And once I hit 8, even though the network is promote, permitting me to send more than 8 packets at one time, 8 segments at one time, you are not supposed to send it because receiver is saying that I can handle only 8. So once this uh, conversion, uh, conversion window reaches the maximum receiver capacity it will stay there and one more thing is when I say that receiver capacity is 8 segment it doesn't mean that it wants to receive only 8, eight segments it means that in one go you can send only 8 segment maximum you, even if you have 1000 packets you could have 1000 packets and you are going to send it maximum 8 at a time so but then don't start with 8 start with 1 and then grow till threshold go, grow till threshold and then from there on you go till uh, the maximum in a linear way. So how does it work is initially I am starting with 1, then 2, then 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8. That is how. So one important question is here. After how many round trip times? Round trip time is sending, a, a sending some window and then waiting for the acknowledgement. After how many round trip times can we reach the maximum, maximum uh, sender window size? Maximum sender window size is how much? 8 segments, right? So this is 1 round trip time, 2 round trip times, 3 round trip times, 4, 5, 6. So after 6 round trip times, the sender window has reached a maximum of 8. Which means the question is, after how many round trip times will we reach the maximum sender capacity? So after how many round trip times? 6. And after how many round trip times? will we uh, send the first one first maximum full capacity is after six so it is not after seven after seven we have already sent uh, a full set, full window of eight so the question is after how many rtt's will we reach the maximum capacity or after how many rtt's will we uh, able for, will we be able to send the first full window which is nothing but six round trip times so even if you don't want to do like this if it is bigger you can even check like this so what is the parameters here? Advertisement window is 8 KB, MSS is 1 KB, therefore receiver window capacity is 8 segments, therefore threshold is 4 and uh, sender window and then conversion window starts with 1, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So between every two transmissions there is a round trip time, isn't it? So you will send 1 and next you send 2. So from 1 to 2 when you increment it, there is one round trip time. Therefore how many round trip times are involved? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After 6 round trip times, we are sending the first segment with full size, right? So what if, I will just take an example, one more example. What if this would have been 16? Then how may, what is the maximum receiver capacity? 16 segments. Then what is the threshold? Threshold is 8. Then after how many round trip times will we reach the maximum capacity? the first maximum of 16 segments so we start with 1 which then 2 then 4 then 8 exponentiation exponential growth will stop there 
and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Therefore, what is the total size? How many, how many router type types are involved? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, after 11 RTTs, we will be able to send the first full window, right? So, one thing worth noting is, sometimes they will not start with 1, they will say that we are starting with 2, then we are going to change it. So, what has really happened here is, the conditional, this is an example I explained you. Now, the, let's see the procedure. The procedure works like this. So, initially we start with 1 MSS and then we grow exponentially till we reach something called as threshold and after reaching threshold we grow linearly till we reach the maximum receiver window and from there on we remain constant this is how the conversion algorithm works which means we start from 1 MSS and slowly grow exponentially till the threshold and after threshold we are going to grow linearly till the maximum this phase where you start with 1 and grow till this threshold it is called slow start phase actually the name is slow start but this phase is not slow this is called slow start phase why is it called slow start is it is starting with 1 MSS since it is starting with 1 MSS it is called slow start phase but the name is slow but the process, the process is not slow it actually grows exponentially and after reaching the threshold then it grows linearly it is called as congestion avoidance phase and after reaching this maximum it is going to be stabilized there okay so the main two important phases in this congestion control algorithm is one is slow start and other is conditional avoidance uh, phase so uh, sometimes they will not start the slow start with one MSS sometimes they will start it with two so there are some implementations we start with two there are some implementations we start with one whatever it is they are going to give you in the exam what uh, what phase they mean now let's see the algorithm actually how it works